Santa Claus, it's very mean to call him fat. We don't call him fat, actually. We call him jolly. This is a word that means that he's always in a really good mood. He actually has a special laugh. He always says ho, ho, ho. And that's his way of laughing. Uh, he's got rosy cheeks, always in a good mood. So he's jolly, but jolly uh, you use for people who have a big stomach. The story is that Rudolph was actually used to be made fun of by all the other reindeer and nobody liked him. And then it was foggy one Christmas Eve, so Santa must have been in Austria. And he found Rudolph and he put him with his other reindeer and he shows the way through the fog or bad weather because his nose lights the way. So that's why Rudolph is so important. Uh, but there are eight other reindeer. So he has the, ma the magic flying reindeer pull his sleigh. He comes to your house. He comes down through the chimney, uh, he lands on the roof with his reindeer and his sleigh, and you can know that he's coming, uh, sometimes you'll hear the jingle bells, just like the song. So if you're not good, you don't get presents, instead you get a lump of coal. Now, um, this is more of a threat that parents use to make their children behave. Usually even bad children, I think, still get presents. So you put up a stocking with your name on it, and then Santa Claus will come. If you've been bad, he'll put coal in your stocking. But also, if you've been good, you also get stuff in your uh, in your stocking. Usually, stuff like sweets, maybe gift cards, jewelry, something like that. Little presents. I always like to open my stocking first and save the big good presents for last. So every mall usually has a Santa Claus. Uh, and he'll sit in the middle of the mall, children will line up and wait for him, and then they'll sit on his lap, he'll ask them, have you been naughty or nice? And if they've been nice, then he says, what would you like for Christmas? So then you don't have to mail him a letter. Okay. Christmas meal is actually very similar to the Thanksgiving meal on, uh, on Christmas Day in America. So turkey, vegetables and potatoes, and for dessert, any idea what we eat for dessert, not just cookies? Apple pie, yes. Apple pie is at almost, I think, every holiday. Um, I don't like it actually very much, but it's a very typical American dessert. Uh, apple pie uh, is something you'll find at a lot of American holidays. There's all different types of pie. Thanksgiving, we talked about pumpkin pie. Uh, you won't find that on Christmas so much anymore uh, because the pumpkins are not so much in season. But sometimes chocolate pudding pie or things like that, you can find all different types. next very important part that I want to talk about, presents, yes, and decorations, what's the most important decoration? The Christmas tree, exactly. Ornaments is more of a general term, so we have the ball-shaped ones, but ornaments are actually something you collect, uh, and it's usually uh, you collect ornaments that reflect something that you like. For example, since I was really, really little, my family got me Barbie ornaments, and even though I'm grown up now, they still buy me Barbie ornaments because it's tradition. And even though I don't really want Barbie ornaments anymore, it's the tradition and that's what I collected since I was little and that's what I'm stuck with. Next very important part that I wanted to talk about, which is the Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, and what goes under the tree? Presents, of course, very important. What other decoration might you put underneath the tree for Christmas? It's called a nativity scene. And the nativity scene is with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and the animals and the kings. Jesus in the manger, it's called. Uh, we also do this in America, but there's some stuff we put under our tree other than presents. First of all, we usually put kind of a rug, but we call it a tree skirt. And you do this to protect your floor from being covered in the pine needles, all the leaves from the tree. Sometimes people like to decorate the tree skirt, so it's not just useful, it's pretty. Uh, any idea what we put on the tree skirt? Uh-huh, so maybe a toy train that goes around. And then sometimes people will also make a little Christmas village, and it will light up. And that's usually made out of ceramic, and it's something that you pass down from, from generation to generation. So it's a nice thing to have underneath. It looks really cute when you plug it in and all the lights are on. So have a very Merry Christmas. I won't see you guys until afterwards, and a Happy New Year. Uh, and I will see you in 2012.